We're returning to Africa, and today we're going to be taking out both crossbows loaded with the 600 grain bolts. Alright, this is not exactly how I planned on starting this hunt out, but we are getting attacked by a Cape Buffalo right there. And that should hopefully take him down. Okay. Well, we got him, but he also got us. Now, just around this next bend here, there's actually a whole herd of Cape Buffalo. And there's one decent level 7 out there, so that's going to be our first objective. But, since we took this one down, let's pick it up. Alright, let's pick her up. And it's going to be an 8-yard lung liver shoulder weight shot, 126. So yeah, this crossbow has a lot of penetration, and we're going to be able to get some pretty decent shots. My goal is kind of to try for a 100-yard shot... You know, obviously, if we can get closer, great. But in some circumstances, I'd like to be able to try for a 100-yard shot because we're not going to be able to get close enough without busting the rest of the herd. And that could happen quite frequently. For instance, this herd right here has a real nice level 7 right there. But there's also a couple of capes in this thick brush here. So if we get too close to them, it could potentially spook this whole entire herd of Cape Buffalo. So I'm thinking we might end up pulling off about an 80 yard shot here. So there's the seven right there. The big bull is right in the back. And we kind of got a little bit of an overhang right here. But what I'm thinking is once we get down over this ravine, we're going to have to lay low and kind of stick to the west side. That way we have a good wind. See, I'm not seeing them right now, but I for surely spotted two Cape Buffalo in this brush here. And since the wind is kind of blowing that direction, they could easily blow our cover. We gotta be extremely cautious of them. But there's our big seven right there. He's only 130 yards out from us. So we're gonna go prone and try and get a little bit closer. All right, they're just on the backside of this hill right here. And I'm thinking that we actually may be able to take them prone. If we can take a shot prone, that'll be pretty much ideal because then they're not going to be able to spot us. But right about here, we should be able to start seeing some visual. And sure enough, here we go. What a perfect setup. There they are right there. Now we just got to find our big seven. And I do believe he's right behind that female there. Right here, we're looking at about 80 yards. Now, we can zero him for 65. And we may go for a 60-yard shot. Oh, hold up. He's stepping out. He's out there at 80. One thing I really wish we would have done is actually practice this thing at around 80 yards to figure out where we really need to aim. But then again, I took a shot yesterday. I don't think you guys saw it in the video. Um, but I zeroed for eight. No, I zeroed for 60 and I pretty much held right for top of the lung and the shot dropped right below the heart. So I'm thinking if we hold for spine for 60, we might be able to pull off an 80 yard shot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. No way. Dude, they're coming right towards us. Oh my God. God. Wait, they stopped. Where is that big bull? Is that him? No, that's not him. Where in the heck did our seven go? This is not cool. Oh my God, there he is. He's laying down. Oh my God. We found him. I was like, where in the heck is he? He's literally laying down right there. No wonder why we couldn't see him the whole time. All right. Well, all he's got to do at this point is stand up. And we'll get an opportunity for a shot. But there he is right there. We're trying to ease our way over there. Without getting the attention from these buffalo as well. Oh boy. The thing is, we got to stay crouched so we can see. If we went prone right now, we won't be able to see. And then, yeah, that's, this buffalo might wander off. But that's a shot. All right, guys, that's 92 yards. We're going to attempt this shot. Oh, my God. What a freaking shot. Did you see that? 
What a shot! All right, he was out here just seconds from being in that thick brush and we never would have seen him again. I'm talking seconds. Look at this. He was right here. All he had to do was take two more steps and he would have been gone. But that is a vital hit. We made an epic shot. Now let's figure out where he went. All right, we got some blood going down here. And there he lays right over here just along this coastline. Look at that. We hit him super far back, but he was quartering so much. What a shot, 95 yard right lung shot. Absolutely beautiful shot. I thought we hit far back and we actually hit pretty much center lung, just a tad bit high, but wow, what a beautiful shot. 135, a gray Cape Buffalo. That was awesome. Oh, there we go. We got a nice six out here. Hold up. We got a couple more. Of oh my God, a huge mythical. Huge mythical out there. About 280 yards out, but there's a couple more out here as well. Oh, another nice seven there and a six. So in this case here, I'm thinking we're probably going to have to go for a shot on this seven first. Maybe try for like another 100 yard shot. You know what I mean? Like, we just took a 95-yard shot, and it was a very difficult shot, pretty much halfway in the brush. Right here, we have a nice opportunity where it's pretty much wide open, and we know right where to hold, so why not just try that again? That way, we probably will not spook this huge mythical. You know, there's a good chance we may be able to pull this off. Oh, change of plans, change of plans, change of plans. Oh my god, there's a huge red mythical. There's a huge red mythical right below us right below us he's only 130 yards out from us i had no clue he was right there absolutely no clue let's just kind of see what he's gonna do that's a massive mythical too look at the estimate 135 to 157 oh he's kind of working his way this direction isn't he oh my god he's coming this way oh my god he's coming in he's coming in no way dude he's gonna come right in Okay, let's get ready. We're zero for 40. So if we need to, we can just hold high, use the middle pin for 60, I believe. Oh, holy, there's one right there. Is that our mythical in the back? No, those are just two females. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's our mythical. Big red mythical right there, right there, right there. Let me spot him. That's him. Oh my God, he's 40 yards out, guys. He's 40 yards out. Perfect shot. He's going down. Out right for the heart for 40. Oh my God, that was awesome. He just piled over right there. And I don't believe these even spooked. Look at this. They didn't spook at all. Not even a little bit. So there's the seven. For some random reason, they just decided to get up and start walking. Um, well, they only feed till 1500, so there's a chance. They're all gonna come right to us. No way. The only thing is the wind is really bad here, so we're gonna have to back up a little bit more. And try and shift over. Honestly, I don't really know if that's going to help us out much either. But we'll see. All right. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, oh my God. We're getting attacked. Oh, perfect shot. I think we smoked him. Oh my God, we did. Perfect, perfect shot. He should fall over. Yep, he's down. Back up, back up, back up. Is that mythical coming? Oh my god, the huge mythical's coming in too. Holy. Here we go. We might as well pick up this one along the way. 
Actually, this is a big seven. 130, lung, liver, intestine shot, 22 yards as it was charging us. Now, this mythical should cut across this opening right here. And if it does, we just may get a shot off. There's a seven. There's another seven. That's not even the same seven. Here's our big mythical. Oh, oh that's a hundred. That could work. If you turn broadside, that could definitely work. Let's watch him. Got a female coming in. There he is. 90 yards out coming right in. Oh my God, here he comes. 80 yards. Perfect shot. Oh my God, that looked good. That looks so good. Come on. No, you're not telling me that? Not perfect? Okay, well, maybe not perfect. I thought we had him. What? Was it a miss? What the heck just happened? We took him right here. 80 yards. I held high for 60. I don't know how that didn't connect. Let's go over here and take a look at this huge mythical that we did make an epic shot on, though. He came right into 40 yards. Out right for the heart. And let one fly. Big ol' level 8 mythical red. And we took him at 37 yards. Pulled off a nice long shot there as he was coming right at us. Looks like we just missed the heart. 139 brown Cape Buffalo. Dude, I don't know how we messed up that shot. I really don't. There's no way we missed him. But at the same time, the percentage did not drop at all. It looked like we hit him perfect. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to find that big mythical Cape Buffalo, but we found something even better. We got a huge level eight brown Cape Buffalo out here. Look at the size of that thing. And he just bedded down there about 400 yards away. So we're going to try and work our way around on the bottom side here. That way we have a good win to be able to take the shot on this massive mythical. But there he is. Right out there. As we're slowly rolling down the hill. And there he is right there you guys. 98 yards out. Bedded is our massive mythical. Now we're really not going to get too much closer. But if we can get to 80... I'll be super pumped. Well, I'm really hoping we're going to be able to actually see this thing. Oh my God. Yes, we can. There he is right there. 80 yards out. That's in range for a shot. All right. We just got to slide over a little bit. And that's going to work. That is going to work right there. So basically we have to zero in for 60. And we'll use the second dot for 80. Yeah, we'll hold a little bit high. <laughs> Freaking dropped him! 85 yards with the crossbow. Now we definitely got him a little bit high, but even if we did get a spinal cord shot, I'm still going to be pretty pumped. I'd rather have a spine double lung shot, which we might have gotten. But either way, to drop a buffalo like that with a crossbow, pff, can't ask for much more than that. As we're heading over here, I'm going to show you where we hunted today. We're over on the very northeast end by Nusko Nialti. And we basically looped around here. And we've been hunting all of this region kind of like this. Loop back around. Well, we took down the one mythical over here before. We couldn't find him. So we started back again today. And right here is where we took down that big massive level 8 red mythical. Why is it looking like the arrow is way down below by the heart? What the? 
Did we drop into the heart at 85 yards? No, we didn't. But what we did do is get a spine double lung shot at 83 yards. That's what we did do right there. Epic, epic shot and a massive 140 gold. Look at the size of that mythical. So as I said before, we did mess up that one shot on the big mythical, but we definitely did not mess this one up. What a shot, what a buffalo, and what a hunt. I really did want to know where we actually hit that one that we took at 60 yards. So he was kind of facing just like this, right? We were up high shooting downwards. He was 70 yards and we reserved for 65 and I was holding for right here. And the arrow hit right here. So I don't know, unless we would have hit shoulder blade and it missed the heart somehow. I don't know, I really wish we could have figured out where we hit on that buffalo, but nonetheless, it turned out even better. We got this guy, a massive 140 gold mythical cape buffalo but anyways that is gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time man what a shot